And we are back live at Battle Hard and Toulouse, guys. And as requested by the entirety of chat, we are back with the Dorindia versus Lexi matchup. Clément Loubière playing Lexi. So Clément Pouzy from Montpellier, France, against Anthony Achin. Anthony, did anyone t tell us who he was? He's from Paris, right? I think Anthony is from Paris. He's a friend of his name, so good. Another very active member of the French community, Damien. Very cool guy. Funny guy. Cool Dex. Funny Dex. <laughs> And also very good at the game, even though he's playing troll deck sometimes. So I, I, I've never, I don't think I've ever played versus Anthony. But definitely if he's playing in the top 8 of this battle Arden, he knows something. He knows some things. And he's playing a call for Marvel, Dorintia, Chantefer. <laughs> so Clément was first in standings. And he chose to let his opponent start. Okay. And the round is time. But with 90 minutes. Okay, so there's no way they'll go to time. Is there a problem with the microphone? I don't think so. Okay. So already keeps running as you can under <laughs> you can uh, you can hear. Let's go. Oh, so so that's me. fervent. Okay. I'm trying to get you with the key. Let's go fervent. Let's go. Okay, his name's so good. Do you mean for Chantefer? Do you mean pour Chantefer? Is that what you mean? I love these sleeves. I don't know where they come from, but uh, I love the artwork. I love the art style. Anyone know where the sleeves come from? Someone? Probably. Looks like it, but I, I'd love to know who the artist is. I can ask. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll definitely ask him at some point. Oh, Looks yeah, very cool. Okay. Il y a un stream demain, oui, et c'est le Professional Tournament Invitational euh, à la clé. Il y a donc, comme son nom l'indique, une invitation à un tournoi professionnel, ce qui veut dire que tu peux gagner une qualification pour le championnat du monde ou le Pro Tour. Ouais, et c'est le tournoi de demain, c'est un tournoi qui ressemblera a priori une grande partie des joueurs euh, d'aujourd'hui. Et qui risque d'être... Euh qui risque d'être évidemment très skillé, vous vous en doutez. J'espère qu'on vous retrouvera également en nombre, bien sûr. Et donc, ouais, une heure et demie de ronde, 90 minutes in, the <laughs> in this top 8. But I mean, none of these the, the decks really love to block, usually. Unless he's playing a fatigue, uh, a fatigue Dory, which I don't expect to see, but maybe. But that's the good thing when you're playing Dorintia is that you're playing against a deck that doesn't want to block as, as little blocks, as, as, uh, as few blocks as possible when you're playing Lexi and, uh, and not lots of uh, defense reactions. And usually Dorintia plays on, on those decks. If you had to bet, and I know that you're a betting man, if you had to bet in this matchup, who would you <laughs> bet for? Uh, I bet for Lexi. Because it's so strong regardless of what yes. you're playing against? Yes. Uh, what do you play, uh, Anthony? Iron Song versus or 
Brave, uh... I think Brave, for, Bra uh, Brave Forge Brave cells are more useful most of the time. But I mean, Iron Song versus has, has Iron Song in the name, so it's <laughs> designed for Dory. But most of the time, it's better to have uh, to have the card that you can block twice with, yeah. and then you can still use the the ability. And that's a very potent ability too. So. So there you go, Brave Forge Bracers, of course. Oh, and there's a trench on Clément's side okay. in this matchup. He probably expects, expects Warmonger's diplomacy in he the matchup, which is. He, he play pitch, uh, Purge Grapplers, yes. yeah. You need to block with your yes. equipment in sure. the matchup. It's an obligation. Yeah. Because if you don't, you're going to be forced to use your whole hand or on the turns of uh, Steel Blade Supremacy, yeah. you'll de get destroyed, so... Uh. You see a singing Steel it's Blade amazing. already, yeah. And the Steel Blade Supremacy also, I think. Yeah. So there you go! <laughs> Turn zero steel blade supremacy. So what do you do when your opponent attacks to, uh, with a steel blade supremacy active? Do you give you give out your whole hand just to be sure that yeah. there's no way he's gonna pass this first attack? Uh, you need to give at least I nine. I think if, if I Alexi, I block with uh, nine or nine. But if you block with nine, uh, as we can see from his end, it looks like he can he can push the damage, right? He block only five. Uh, it doesn't good. The the minimum is nine. Yeah, I mean nine is nine is okay, and um, six and Anthony might not try to, to yeah. push too much, but if you block six, there's no way to hit. It's enough. You have uh, Singing Steel Blade and uh, Root, the other cards. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I can't see it. No, I think it's... Uh, power Power? No. It's... Uh, I think it's Puncture or something. Uh, so blocking for nine. Yeah. Does he want to try to push some damage? Because he could push some damage and, and draw a card, and uh, and still get an arsenal for next turn. He won't do much more than that, but he could. Uh, he could definitely make sure he hits with the single if steel it's, blade. It's, and it's, if it's and the puncture, it's he can make sure he block. He, if it's he hits. a blue, oh, but yeah, well. This turn is over. Spells of War. Singing Steel Blade. Uh, Hero, he had the uh, Counter Plus One. Yeah, Glistening Steel Blade. In the Quicksilver. Yeah. Yeah, this next turn is pretty cool. Yeah. But of course, he'll probably have to defend, so he won't be able to use all of it. I think the Singing Steel Blade is in his arsenal now, so... First Voltaire activation. What? Singing Steel Blade? Blue. Yeah, is it, it's a Searing Shot Blue. Yeah. Uh... Okay. A bit weird, isn't it? Or you lose three, or I block with uh, Brave or Bracers. If I lose three, I think. So, yeah, you definitely take the three damage. That's one of the least threatening arrows. Oh, and that Sleep Dart is annoying, though. <laughs> That's the one you want to block. Yes, I... <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely yeah. need to look at it, Anthony. 
So that's the one you want to give two cards for, or maybe one card and one of your two blocks. So either Courage of Blade Hold or Brave Forge Bracers. Yeah, but Anthony being very careful not to overuse his equipment at first. Yeah. All right. Spells of power. Yeah. So attacking with the Dawn Blade, Blade for five. We'll go again. again. Yeah. And the, with the non hit effect, that's not really relevant, but that's still annoying because you, you don't want to give your opponent resources. That's two copper. Two copper tokens. And it can be twice. If yeah. you allow your opponent to hit you twice, it can be four copper tokens. But you don't have blood on your hands. So. No, of course, but it's still, I mean, if there's a, a point where he's forced to use them. So it the first one five. hits. Yeah. It's a risky proposition now. No. Isn't it? I well, you take for three now, and we know that there's a st singing steel blade, yeah. so basically you can push for eight. Uh, oh. yeah, okay. Singing. Oh, yeah. It costs one. Yeah. Oh, so that's the first clear can turn. It's not a three of a kind look. It's a brelan. Brelan. It's brelan. <laughs> brelan de rap. Oh, using the rain razor that he just drew to to pitch for Voltaire. And that's a heat seeker. I think for five. Yeah, you never want to let it hit. If you can't if you can't afford to block it, you definitely do, and I think you can't yeah. Oh the twinning blade used to block. Oh, and that's it! On the first three of a kind, only one arrow! Oh, sick! It was a bad three of a kind, probably one of the worst you can get. Uh, he went plus three to gain or terminate? Yeah, no, that's, that's go again. Go again. Uh, go again on hit. And we know that there's a stinging steel blade in the arsenal, so he can definitely push lots of damage now. Uh, you can take uh... this is probably one of the uh, the the hardest of the of the um, of the effects the buff effects for for the intent to block because you know that there's a go again anyway. Yeah. If you don't block it, and if you overblock, he can still punish you with all the attack reactions. Very, very difficult to block. And you can look at how much Clément is thinking about it. He's not very comfortable letting it hit. It's still it's six damage, but it don't yeah. So he lets it hit, and now the second attack is going to be that much more threatening. Oh, there's another twin blade in hand. Well, they won't be able to use it, but... Might pitch it. For the singing steel blade. Oh, 
Okay, pitching it for yeah. the brave, for, brave force bracers, giving it a break point, of course. Yeah. But you have the honest thing. Honest or... thing, yeah, that, that you can use to block for these. At least once you can do it, and then. Yeah. But that's the thing. At that point, you're very comfortable using your losing your arsenal just to yeah. make to put a, a counter on your down blade. So that's that's what Clément has to respect now. Blocking only for six probably means that he'll think, get a second. He'll, he'll, he'll get the, the his first counter. Seven. I block for seven. But even blocking for seven, he means Be that because you have the singing steel blade. But singing steel blade plus. Yes, uh, you can. You have put three for zero. So blocking for four he, is yes. definitely a losing proposition because. I think he used. Uh, So there you go, the singing yes. steel blade, yeah. Plus one. It's gonna be pushing damage maybe with the Nairo Snog response. Yeah, because that's the easiest one to use. Yes. It pushes three more damage. Yes, it's uh, four, yeah. eight. So that's he basically yeah, an attack for eight now. So he's losing four and then he's getting a counter on the on this down blade. And when you do that, that's when start, things can, can start to get messy for the opponent. No defense reaction, of course, on Lexi's side. That's why this deck, Dorintia, has so much... It's so good sometimes versus these Lexi decks. If you can get an advantage early like that and push your, your opponent to, to block somehow, yeah. you can really put him in a bad spot. And in this situation, oh, that's the kind of turn you need to, to come back stronger. I don't think a searing shot does it. That's basically seven damage. But that's something at least. Hey, thanks for all the follow guys. I didn't see you, but thanks. Luigi Lefelin, Le Felon. Luigi Le Felon. X Dino 9, Bearded Asian, and X Play 10. And Moodyx Sous, Sous Mori. Not easy to say. Yeah, so I think at that point you want to keep your hand to threaten another counter on yeah. the, the down blade. So he'll definitely be, be happy to, to take all the damage now. Is there something that will force him to block? Or maybe that. <laughs> maybe an endless arrow, yeah. No, I think he blocked. Yeah, you double block this one. Do you, though? I mean, yeah, I guess so, because it's another attack for, uh, for six that can recur, so it's too annoying. Still has, Anthony still has lots of equipment, so he could choose to block with one card and uh, maybe the Courage of Blade Hold and the, and the second Brave Forge Bracers. Or the bolters even, if yeah. he intends to use them soon. Yeah. May as well use them as early as possible to not be worried about wasting the, the block point. Yeah. If you use the bolters in the... Yeah, it is a very cool looking card, Lapsus. And I love the way the guy the guys are like, oh, that's an arrow, okay. Let it go through. I don't <laughs> want to hit it. Looks very hot.
So Anthony definitely thinking about how he wants to approach this one. I think the the most efficient way to, to do it is just to lock with one card from hand and anyway your equipment. Winning blade and overpower. Uh, I think so. I'm that's pretty... basically seven, but Anthony will definitely let, let it go through. Yeah. What's going on? Lots, lots of action, and there's already a counter on the dome blade, so. Oh. Right? Yeah, but on the other side, Clément had the perfect three of a kind turn, so that's. I mean, not the, it wasn't the perfect three of a kind turn, but it was the perfect timing to have one. Oh, the Warriors Veiler on that one, so that's an attack for five. Five would go again with one resource floating. I think he blocks with two cards. Yeah. But since he has no arsenal, his, pre his next turn he will probably be pretty yeah. lackluster. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so just a hit seeker with uh, with go again. Oh no, not a uh, hit seeker for six, of course, because he only had two cards. Makes sense. And look at that! All that blocking. Did you expect that? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. No arsenal on both sides. <coughs> oh, you mean the singing is still late? Oh, you can fake it. <laughs> it does take a pinto quick silver for yeah, go again just draw. to get go again. Yeah. No, nothing. Just hit, <laughs> and that's it. Oh, the Arctic Incarceration is going to be nice. You can just go one arrow Arctic Incarceration and make sure that your next turn yeah. is going to be pretty easy. Oh, and there's a Codex too. Oh no, that's a Lace with Inertia. Six. Yeah. Lace. Lace is for plus four. Uh, lace with um, that's not uh, lace with frailty. Sorry. Oh. <coughs> sorry. That's even better because it uh, it affects the weapon attacks. Well, Why is it tech? Seven, oh, okay. because he gave plus one. Yeah, yeah, he didn't give go again. He gave the plus one from Voltaire. That's going to be two blocks for two from the equipments and one glistening steel blade block blocking for three. Yeah. You definitely don't want to debuff your down blade at that point in the game. No? It's an attack for two is a lot less threatening. He's playing rivers. Yeah. <laughs> For a moment, I think Maybe I he's left handed. <laughs> Maybe he's left handed. Wait, so he had to go again. No, but he's using the codex. If he played. 
Oh no, he had to go again uh, naturally because it's uh, my bad. Because it's, it's uh, of it's course, really it's a Falcon Wing. In the Falcon Wing, yeah. So now, do you want to give away another card, yeah, and one piece of equipment? Now you can use the uh, refraction bolters yeah. freely. It's done its job. Oh, Warriors Veiler with the blue, perfect. Still six. one floating, attacking for six go five. again. Oh, five go again with the frailty. One. Definitely a heads up play be, being able to block that first uh, less with frailty effect on the yeah. on the Falcon win because with two frailty effect <laughs> these his turn would be really really bad. <laughs> oh, oh, oh blocking for eight. Oh, that's eight, eight because Winter's Bite blocks for two, but that's Five. yeah. But you definitely want to overblock that one because the, the second attack can be devastating. Zuri don't care. If you block, you block. Yeah. Good enough, I guess. You have just one card. Yeah. That's fine for me. I it's think it has shot? to be. Yeah, yeah, it's a red bolt and shot, and it has to be uh, another setup turn for Clement. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the second codex in hand with the premeditate and another heat seeker. Oh, 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 Iron Song Determination, Glistening Steel Blade and Steel Blade Supermassy. Is that the perfect trifecta? Is that everything you need to make sure that everything hits on your turn? I mean, if it had six with Dominate. And every time you I hit, have, you put I a plus one counter. It doesn't have this play. Why? Uh, because I can uh, block with uh, Trench and Pitch Grapplers. Uh, and you put all in. Uh, but it's not all in. You still have one card in Arsenal. Yeah, he still has one card in Arsenal and you're uh, losing. I think it's, uh, it's still played. And you have some card. If you're losing the Trench at that point. <laughs> And uh, and yeah, and you're threatening uh, mm. to be devastating if, if devastated if there's something like an Combustion. iron song response in the arsenal. Yeah, if it's an iron song, you need to. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, if it's an iron song, also. you're dis you're good? destroyed. Just basically kills you. But he's all in, yeah. Every <laughs> single attack is free now. If no, there's a twinning it's blade, uh, response uh, in Arsenal. <laughs> Please just I roll Alexi out of the tournament for once. <laughs> <laughs> you prize be with the hottest stakes since the beginning oh, of the day. Blade. Yes, and twinning blade. Tuning blade is a blowout, of course, also. Can you imagine if he has a twinning blade? Yeah. And now. <laughs> you know what it feels now. Yeah. <laughs> Took your poison. <laughs> no, he he played. Uh, no, he he um, pitched one and he blocked with one. But yeah, and I think since he used two, at least one. But I think. Two two tutors. He he probably shuffled his deck, so yeah. he might. There's there's a definite chance that he can get the, the <laughs> one He's of the twinning like, blade. Mm, yeah, I played during the so much like I can guess what it's is it's the card. Response. Oh, you've seen it? Yes. So yeah. So definitely. No yes. He's yeah. fucked now. I take six to nine. So yeah, the Anderson response means that he's gonna be destroyed no matter what. Uh, and at that point, what can you do? Yeah, it's good. Just block with everything? But you can't block with everything. You can only block, the, the only 
efficient yes, play would can. be to block with the purge gartlers with the trench yeah. and with the card from hand it has dominate okay. yeah thanks to the determination <laughs> unless he has a to <laughs> yeah maybe oh. Lexi has to think, yeah, definitely has to think. I mean, that's... We know what's in the arsenal, so it's... Of course... We're like, you're fucked no matter what. <laughs> but Clément has to think about it, because he doesn't know what's in the arsenal, and he has to decide if he wants to use his equipment to try to block it out. It is insane. This turn is very exciting. Okay, that's why I, I love to, co to do the commentary on the on Dorintia because that's always the same kind of situation where you know that something exciting is going to happen. Okay, so it looks like Clément has, has made the decision now. Definitely using the, the 90 minutes he has to, to decide and he's gonna get blown out. Blocking for six. And the iron sun response. Nice. So that's nine. That's a drone hit. Wow. And if he draws a twinning blade, man, I'm gonna scream. That's not a twinning blade. At least. Yes, but uh, the next attack is plus two uh, counters. And don't buy it for six the next turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is crazy. So even if you block, you're going to take lots of damage and another counter on the... Ch on the I mean, a counter on the blade. How much? Plus one for each turn. Yeah, yeah. So that's three counters. Yeah. One from the, uh, the, the first, the, the basic effect, and twice from the glistening steel blade. So that's, <laughs> that's going to be an attack for six next turn. Just basic six attack. Pas the twinning blade, too bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Look at that dawn blade. Okay, so premeditate. He'll be able to use it. Yeah. And that's the power of this deck of Lexi. Even with nothing in hand, like two cards, you can still do something like that. Like seven. Like for uh, seven, go six, again. Uh, or seven. That's going to be seven. Seven go again. And after four? Yeah. I think the Doritos, Doritos players maybe take it. I think it takes seven. Depends how many blues he has. I think it takes seven after he blocked the last one. Oh, yeah, he can still block with the, with the Brave, Brave Forge Bracers. Yeah. Block for four. But seven. Oh yeah, it is gonna be two uh, two ponder tokens. Nice. Thanks for the follow, Machuf. Do you even bother? I mean, if he has enough damage to threaten lethal, he has to he has to keep them. But yeah. Okay, that overpower was maybe a bit too much. It's very expensive, yeah. of course. It 
for three, three resources. Yeah, it's lots of damage, but it's a lot of a lot of resources too. So at least there's a frailty token, so that dawn blade won't be that huge. I mean, it'll still be huge, but not not as much. Oh, so Anthony started playing yeah. before his opponent has had uh, finished his turn. Nine, okay. Taking for for basic nine. Okay. Or eight, because yeah. of the frailty, of course. And there's two cards, one in hand, one in arsenal. If you want to block it out, you need to give at your whole hand. And you need to make sure that some of the, um, I mean, that all of these tokens leave, so... And if there's any way that you can go above the 12 that you can, that you can give as defense, you're going to be very sad. I mean, we haven't seen his end, so maybe bl blocking the, the endless arrow was just not even that big of a deal. So that's a block for 11 only. Oh, yes, if he don't he block has nothing with, to... If he don't block with our power, he can take our power for plus 6. But does he have a blue? Maybe he had no way to play it. He pitched here. Yeah. Sad, sad down blade for three now. <laughs> Very sad down blade. And even if you have a power turn like the one we saw for Dorinthea, you need at least another one after the, that one because you can just get destroyed by. Uh, a quadruple lock for 11 like we just saw okay so Femo is not blocking that one refreshing bolters destroyed and another attack for three now lots of cards in hand for Anthony yeah maybe a twinning blade a twinning blade would be awesome. No, but there's a route. Oh. There's route, iron sun response, a puncture, I think. And the last one, I uh, can't see it because there's no other card. <laughs> because that was an overpower. Oh! <laughs> That's nine damage, my friend. Wow. Okay. There you go. So that's down to three. <laughs> so no blocking for the equipment on Anthony's side. Now he has got to rely on his end. But every single one of these of these downblade attacks now is lethal. So that's very potent. Yeah, that route would have been amazing on the previous turn, obviously. So we need to find a way to threaten something on Clement's side. And maybe that lays with frailty on the searing shot is something. Is that something? Because if it hits, the counter on the double blade is useless. It disappears, basically, for that turn at least. That was a blue searing shot. I don't think that's what he wanted to do, but that's something. Six points. 
He's taking it. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Yeah. Is it a yellow one? Yeah, I think so. So that's a yellow. That's two resources of your discard, yeah. So discarding a spell of war. For six. Shot for six. Wow. Very nice sequencing. Alexis broken. So deck. now, of course, you have to double block that one. Even going down to three is too much, I think. And in this situation, even if you attack only with the down blade for three, your opponent is going to have to respect the damage output. You're only at three, so even. I mean, you can afford to block with the with the new horizon, I guess now because you don't have a card in arsenal. He has a brelon in hand. Are you kidding me, Matthew Fox? You didn't follow us before that? <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? We have to wait until October 7th, 2023, until you follow us, man. Wow. The disrespect. I'm shattered. <laughs> but things are powerful for sure. <laughs> So that's probably a block for, yeah, you need to block for six. Or block for three plus the new horizon, yeah. I guess. Uh... Oh, you think that's a route in the arsenal? Well, if it's a route, he has a real shot at winning this one. Yeah, I think he pitched it on the previous turn, as uh, Tremin just said. It's a route. But I don't remember. But he might be playing two of those. It's route. If yeah. it's route, is one, I guess. Oh no, not with that block. So that's a block for six? Yeah. <laughs> and there you go, a brelan. Whoa. Oh! Oh my no god! Arrow. Wow! You very happy about it, yeah. Oh my god. Is that how you lose the game? I guess it is. That's the risk when you want to, to pack in some more disruption for these matchups. Sometimes you end up with these draws. Not a single arrow out of these three cards. A brelan oh, maybe, of bad maybe, cards. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Okay. So now it's destroyed, but it worked. <laughs> you have to give two cards. Yeah.
Yeah, feels bad, but that's the way it goes. But you don't go to one because you had to go again, so... Six. If it goes back to hand, you're, you're destroyed. But that, that, yeah, but the trap is gonna help in that situation. Oh yeah, it didn't have to go again, okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. But if you want to make sure that there's not nothing that kills you, you need to overblock a lot. Basically, you need to give away your whole hand and keep the trap, I guess. Oh, it doesn't have to go again until it hits, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Whoa. It's good. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Premeditate. Doing nothing with it. Wow. Oh, but look at the look at the, the deck. Clément has only four cards left for that, I think. So there's definitely a risk that Clément will lose to fatigue now. And since this round is basically not timed. Pray for what? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's an attack for three. Yeah, the singing How steel many? blade and chorus ice song. A chorus of iron song? Yes. Anthony is looking at all the cards to see what threats he can still find in his opponent's hand. It is a game, indeed. So blocking for 9, is there enough to go over 9? Probably not. <laughs> You can go to 7 to 8 easily, but probably not over 9. You need another power for that and another card. I can't believe how tense it is.
Okay, so that's a single steel blade now that he's look at his graveyard. He knows that we that what he's gonna be oh, able to takes, get. Oh yes, takes the twinning blade. I think he has uh, card with uh, for go again. Right. Twinning blade with uh, run through. So that means that the next attack will get plus two. Yeah. That's an attack for five, and that's yeah. one GG. Wow! Anthony winning against Lexi with Dorinthia. Amazing, amazing run so yeah. far. He was 5 1. Uh, five, no, he was 6 1 yeah. at the end of the rounds. And now, and now he's in top four of the Battle Ardent 